Hey, so this video is uh, demonstrating me uh, making or forging a large camp chopper style blade from a rasp. So I'm lighting the forge here, getting the steel ready to get all hot and uh, ready to go to work. So the first thing that we got to do is uh, work the tip down. So this is a camp chopper style blade, but it's also kind of like a, a Bowie style ni knife as far as the profile is concerned. So uh, with any Bowie knife, uh, you're going to work the tip uh, in reverse. So uh, this long tip that I'm working now is going to become the uh, clip point on the back side of the blade. So the, uh, the edge of the steel that's laying on the anvil uh, there when I turn it up is actually the cutting edge, uh, not the other way around. So uh, when I start working working the bevels here in a minute, uh, you'll see how the blade will start to uh, curve and banana out. Uh, at that point, um, I'll have to start straightening, but I took a good while on the tip to make sure that I had the profile uh, the way that I wanted it and to avoid uh, getting any kind of a cold shut or what they call the fish lip effect on the end of the steel. So, still working that tip down and just taking my time again, making sure that it looks right. I'm happy with it. So once I have the tip the way that I like it and I'm satisfied with it, I start to refine that shape and uh, flatten that area out, make sure that it's all even, the blade is a, a good even thickness, and then I have at least some of a, a taper there. And uh, whenever you start to work a, a long knife like this, you're going to get warps and uh, bends in the back, and so I like to use a piece of wood to straighten that out. Like, help straighten the steel out without leaving a bunch of rogue hammer marks all over the place. Now right here I'm starting to uh, do the first initial blade uh, bevel profile. And so I work the blade lengthwise on the side of the anvil here just to set the initial bevel angle and to get that all fairly even. And of course when that happens sometimes it gets a little warped and out of shape or the back starts to bow out so I go back to the piece of oak to straighten it before going back to work on the bevels. Again, all this time that I spend on the bevels here just means less time at the grinder, so I'm a big fan of forge work and making sure that you do as much as you can on the anvil because, you know, sanding belts ain't cheap. Now here, uh, this when I go to the table, of the anvil or the step here. This is when I really start to refine the bevels. This is when they really start to pop. You can see the bevels um, getting set really good here because uh, at this point of the anvil, uh, you can set your hammer at, at a good angle and uh, it really forces those bevels into place. Now, when I'm forging a knife, I like to leave uh, the anvil uh, with pretty much 80 percent at least of the bevel work done. I don't like to spend a whole lot of time at the grinder. So now I'm working this handle down and at this point I wasn't really sure um, what I wanted to do with the rat tail uh, tang. I knew I, I had an initial thought of curling it around but I was also toying with the idea of pulling it up into a kind of a hand guard but I wound up, I wound up drawing it out and uh, curling it into a blacksmith style finial and uh, I'm really glad I did. I, I think it makes a really neat effect at the bottom. It gives kind of a, a small pommel so your hand doesn't slip off of the of the blade or uh, uh, slip off of the handle. Um, it gives a hand stop at the bottom plus that finial and that curl wound up leaving a nice hole for a lanyard and with a, a big knife like this you know you may be cutting limbs or big chunks of wood or something and um, whenever you're swinging a big knife like that it's nice to have a lanyard to, uh, to wrap around your hand for safety's sake. So 
so again I'm just refining the handle area trying to make sure that I get this nice and uh, flat uh, so that the handle scales uh, when I go to put the handle scales on I don't have a whole lot of gaps between steel and, and the handle material and uh, in, in just a minute you're gonna see me go to the big red machine there in the background that's a Clay Spencer style inline treadle hammer and uh, it boy it's a work saver it does a lot for me I'm going to use it in a minute to further flatten out this handle area uh, and and the back uh, spine of the blade I, I pretty much go over the whole blade uh, in just a minute but I'm still at this point just refining the handle a little bit and now there's the flatter in my right hand and the uh, I'm using the treadle hammer to whack that flatter pretty hard and um, it flattens out that knife really nice and it makes it really pretty smooth and so that was my original chalk chalk outline design and uh, that's kind of what I came up with there and at this point I decided to go ahead and forge in a uh, an integral finger guard by using a, uh, a pretty blunt cross peen hammer to uh, forge in a really nice area for your index finger to rest, rest against when you're holding the blade. And, and this further uh, accentuates kind of the blacksmith style that I was putting into this knife. With the finial and the forged in hand uh, finger guard, uh, I think it gave it a really cool blacksmith themed look to it. So anyway, uh, that's that's part one. I'll finish the, another part of the video with the uh, handle material uh, next. So thanks for watching.